Hey guys, in this video I went ahead and showed you my everyday foundation routine. Um, it's not anything crazy. It's pretty basic and pretty easy for all of you to do. Um, if you have questions or comments or concerns or awesome, I don't know, leave it go. Is that what you say here? Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. So I already moisturized my face and I already did my eye makeup as well. Um, just kind of a neutral eye. I always go in and do my eyeshadow before my foundation just to make sure there's no fallout. So I went in and started with my Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, this is one of my go-tos probably like every day or twice a week at least. You don't really need a lot of this. Um, I wouldn't really consider it to be um, sheer or full coverage. It's somewhat in between. Um, and I don't really have dry or oily skin, so I was kind of blessed with that. And the brush that I use for my foundation is the MAC 130. Um, to be honest, I really hate this brush, and I wouldn't recommend it for anyone. The bristles fall out on my face, and it's really annoying. And I'm just being honest. So the next thing that I do is go in with my concealer. And I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It is um, weightless and complete coverage. And I am shade Light Neutral. You are going to apply this under your eyes and I usually do a triangle um, kind of down to my nose and then up to the outside of my eye and then I just use my beauty blender and some CO Bigelow it's a vitamin boost toner um, I just mainly use this because it's sitting on my desk always um, you can use water whatever I'm just too lazy to get up and run it under my sink um, so then I just blend this out the Beauty Blender is going to pick up extra product and make it not so light and not so cakey. Um, I don't really have under eye issues as far as darkness or bags under my eyes, um, but it is a full coverage um, concealer, so it is going to cover up darkness or the bags under your eyes if you have those issues. Um, I just use it for the sole purpose of making the inside of my face lighter than the than the outside. Um, you'll also notice that I go in at the top of my forehead, down my nose, and at the top of my cupid's bow. And that's that little area above your upper lip, if you guys don't know that. Um, and then it's very important to go in and set your concealer. Um, if you don't set your concealer, you're probably going to get little creases. Um, that's just from your liquid not being set with a powder. So I go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Um, the thing about this is that it's more of a banana shade than just a starch white. Um, I used to use a white, a white setting powder, and I did notice in photos with the flash Oh my gosh, under my eyes would just light up. So that was kind of a done deal for me for that. And the next thing that I do is go in with my angled brush. And I use the Laura Mercier um, Matte Radiance Baked Powder in shade Bronze 04. Um, this is the most beautiful bronzer that I have ever purchased. It's by far one of my favorites. Um, it's really glowy. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. But most importantly, it's dark without being orange. Um, with a lot of bronzers, they go orange instead of brown, and you want to look bronze instead of spray tanned, I guess. Um, so with contouring, I usually start top of my ears and go down. Um, there's, a, there's a bone right there that I usually just feel for. Um, a lot of people make the kissy face and go under right under the, the cheekbones there. Um, you see me do that a couple times, um, but at this point, I can just kind of turn to the side and feel that. 
Um, and then I go in at the top of my hairline and on my nose. And I typically just go all over my nose. Um, I don't really have any discrepancies with my nose, but I mean, you can contour your nose as much as you want um, just by taking a smaller brush and going kind of right under the inside of your eyebrows and then down and make sure you come around the little lip of your nose in the front. Um, and then I kind of blend that down towards the inside of my face to make it not so streaky because no one wants two lines running down the side of their nose. People are going to be looking at you like, what the heck are you doing? And then I go in with my MAC Blunt. I believe this is actually um, considered a blush at MAC. I'm not really sure. I use it to deepen my contour. Um, typically you want the darkest part of your contour to be um, closest to, to your ears. So I, I somewhat just kind of make a little bit of a mark right at the ends and then I blend it out with a bigger bristled brush. Um, you also want to make sure that you put whatever bronzing product you want on that same brush and just go under your chin um, to kind of blend into your neck that bronze shade so it doesn't look so unnatural. And then next I go in with MAC Spring Sheen Blush. Um, there is so much shimmer in this blush. It is so beautiful. It has a little bit of like an orange glowy tint to it. Um, I reach for this basically every time that I do my blush. Um, it, it, it can go on anyone. It's perfect for anyone. And I'm not really a pink blush person, so this is perfect for me. And then next, of course, of course, if you guys have not tried the Becca products, you need to because you will fall in love. Um, I went in with shade Opal, and this is the Opal Highlighter by Becca. Um, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Um, it's perfect for any shade, pale, bronze, tan, whatever. I own three of these. And I do not regret purchasing any of them. And I use them all all the time. So what I usually tell people to do with highlighter um, is to form basically a C shape around your eye. So just the top of your cheekbone and then up to above my eyebrow. And you will be all set for highlighter. And the next thing that I do is go in with my nice and spicy MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. Uh, this is my go-to. This is my favorite lip ever, um, if you have ever noticed. And if you don't know how to do lip pencil, basically just outline your lips. Um, I like to go under my bottom lip a little bit just to make it a little bit bigger. You can make them as even as possible on the top. You do you. Just don't make yourself look too bougie. And then I go in with my all-time favorite MAC Viva Glam 2 and just apply this inside the liner and then magically I do my eyebrows and my mascara real fast. I'll show you guys how to do that in an upcoming video. Um, and then lastly I go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I use this mainly if I'm planning on doing something fancy or want my makeup to really last me. Um, this holds up for 16 hours and you'll be set for the day. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I helped you out a little bit, and thanks for watching. Take four. Hey, guys. Um... <sighs> hey, guys. Um... This is so hard. I don't know who signed me up for the fits of it. <sighs> Should I wave? Do I wave? No. Who signed me up for this? You're from the 70s, but I'm a 90s bitch.